we can have this one any starting method on this algorithm of the POMQM software uh, it can show you no the optimal solution na wala kang binibigay na kahit anong method ng transportation model kung paano niya isosolve. Ang ibibigay niya kaagad sa'yo is the optimal solution. Di ba? Isn't it okay? Di ba? Mas maganda kasi ang ibibigay niya agad optimal. Pero ang tanong, anong ginamit niya nitong software na to na, na solution para ipakiting optimal? We never know. Alright, good day to all of you. So, welcome to our topic regarding the transportation model solving, the, the way of solving in our software, which is the POMQM software. So, let's have first the balanced problem. For the transportation model, guys, we, we need to have the module na transportation first. So, just click module, then select the transportation the software to be able to activate their algorithm regarding the, the transportation model that's the reason why and let's click the file and new we will be having the new input ng mga data natin for our problem regarding the balanced transportation models na pero send ko sa inyo last time na manual no yung sa US shipment ng uh, goods nila so let's have three sources here i hope you have your notes with you this is just the same with our previous discussions and ililipat lang natin into software so the all ng sources are three and three din ng ating destination so ang goal is to minimize because we're having a problem regarding transportation Okay na, or kung gusto nyo, pwede nyo palitan factory capacity. Okay, it's just the same with the supply. For the core, uh, for the source, let's have the Moines. First source natin, oops. Second source, we have Evansville. Last source, we have Fort Lauderdale. And their demand, we can change this as warehouse requirement. Anyway, it is just the same. It is their demands. Okay. And now, input na natin ang ating mga cost. Now, for cost from Des Moines, going to Albuquerque in a warehouse, we have $5. $8 dito sa baba, pababa tayo. For Fort Lauderdale, it is $9. And the warehouse requirement, of our Albuquerque warehouse is actually 300 units. Okay, let's now move on to our Boston column. $4 from Des Moines to Boston. From Evansville going to Boston is $4 too. From Fort Lauderdale going to Boston, we have 7 here. Okay, for the requirement of Boston, warehouse requirement is 200 units. For the Cleveland, we have $3.00. Same with uh, Evansville going to Cleveland, same as the Des Moines going to Cleveland, which is $3. And for, from Fort Lauderdale going to Cleveland, that is $5. Where the requirement is 200 units. For the factory capacity, capacity of Des Moines, we have 100. Capacity of Evansville, 300. And capacity of Fort is 300 so before having the the solution check nyo muna yung input na no? baka may mali and delikado kasi isang input mo lang dyan mali na ibibigay sa'yo ng system 447 200 335 200 100 300 okay so on this presentation 
will be having the three transportation problem solution, which are the Northwest Corner Rule, the List Coast Method, and the VAM, or the Vogel's Approximation Method. First, we have the Northwest Corner Rule. So, for you to be able to set the system of our POMQM software to show the NWCR, just click on this area, uh, starting method. Click Northwest Corner method. Northwest Corner rule is just the same. And click then. Don't click dissolve. Mamaya ako sasabihin kung bakit. Just click first the step. Okay, step. And that's it. No, the system will give you the solution of Northwest Corner method. Which is, if you'll check on your notes, we also have here $4,200. Diba? Parehong pareho. Now, uh, for the list cost method, let's click finish, then edit data. For the list cost method, balik tayo doon sa ating uh, harap, kumbaga sa home, no? parang home ng, kumbaga cellphone, home siya. So, for starting method, piliin naman natin itong minimum cost method. So, pag napili mo yan, Click again the step. Okay? And it will give you the answer ng ating list cost method. Check on your notes. Compare. On our notes, we have 4,100 for the list cost. And it is just the same kung anong binibigay ni software. 4,100. And yung mga details, it is just the same. I hope you're getting it. And let's click finish, then edit data. Okay, so for the VAM, lastly, we have the VAM or the Vogel's Approximation Method. Click this and the step. Okay, check on your notes again. Our final answer for VAM, balance problem of the transportation model, is actually 3,900, which is the same with this one. As you can see, wala ito kanina yung term na optimal cost. Wala siya kanina. Dahil, kung titignan natin, no, based also on our manual computation, 3,900 is the optimal cost, which is coming from the method of VAM. Now, click natin itong finish and edit data. The reason kung bakit hindi ko pinapaklik muna sa inyo yung solve is that we can have this one, any starting method. On this algorithm of the POMQM software, uh, it can show you no, the optimal solution na wala kang binibigay na kahit anong method ng transportation model kung paano niya isosolve. Ang ibibigay niya kaagad sa'yo is the optimal solution. Diba? Isn't it okay? Diba? Mas maganda kasi ang ibibigay niya agad optimal. Pero ang tanong, anong ginamit niya nitong software na to na, na solution para ipakiting optimal? We never know. No, kaya po, meron supporting na mga options dito, yung tatlo. Dito, pag pinili mo yung any starting method, then i-click muna natin, i-click na natin agad yung solve. Ibibigay niya agad sa'yo yung optimal solution, this one, which is parehong-pareho sa optimal solution natin ng VAM sa manual. No, ayun kasi yung nakita, yung nakita natin, na solve natin sa manual, 3.9. So, I think that's it for now. That, that is the PMQM solution ng ating balanced problem. So, di ba? Madali lang, mas madali lang siya kapag naka-software tayo. Uh, by the way, guys, before I end this, no, we have here the shipping list. Ito pala mga nasa baba. We have the shipping list from to to. Tapos yung shipment, then cost per unit, then yung shipment cost multiply. Ito yung kinu-compute natin sa manual na shipping cost. No, ang wala lang dito is yung total. Anyway, you can see the total cost dito sa ating uh, unang binigay niyang solution na window, which is 3,900. Ito, shipping list. Next, we have here this one, ship shipments with cost. Ito naman. Yung kada table, ito, we have 100. Same sa atin, no? So, nakuha natin sa VAM natin. We have 100 units, katumbas ng $500. We have 200 units, katumbas ng $1,800. We have one 
Uh, we have 200 units katumbas ng 1,800 ulit. 100 and 100 katumbas ng $300 and $500. Ito naman naka, ano siya, nakatablo just the same dito sa umpisa. Yun nga lang, may kasamang cost. Iteration, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na na tablo naman siya na walang cost ko titignan nyo. Ito yung 100, 200, 200, and 200. So, almost the same lang yan. Mga supporting ano supporting results. Same this one. No, ito yung final na solution. Hindi siya naka-iteration. Yung iteration, when we say iteration, ito yung pagkuha natin ng mga penalty points. Yung step-by-step -step na solution ng ating manual. Parang sa simplex, no? we have iterations. Paulit-ulit. So, marginal cost, we have 1, 2, 1, 2. I don't mind this. Maaaral natin to sa mga susunod na discussions. Next na yung marginal cost, okay? So, that's it for now. I hope you learned something from this presentation. And sana natutunan ninyo kung paano isolve ang ating transportation model, yung tatlo na agad, using DPOM QM software. So, thank you for your time. And always keep safe kayo. No? And see you again online on our next discussion. Thank you. Bye-bye.